A group of home and business owners is sounding the alarm on what they call a scamming contractor. A case had investigates found several police reports in a small claims court case filed against the San Antonio area business called Deutsch Does It All. Lee Waldman explains ways you can keep this from happening to you. He gave us a contract, we signed that, and we gave him the 60% of it. It's the same story. Signed the contract, gave him 60% over and over again. He had required 60% up front. With the same disappointing ending. Everything that has come out of his mouth has been a lie to us. He is not responding to any calls, any text, any emails. He voided the contract by walking out on us. Each of these women hired Kyle Deutsch as a general contractor. Lauren Palladini signed her contract with Deutsch and his business Deutsch Does It All on May 1st. We had been looking for a contractor to do some projects on our new build just to make it a little more customized and whatnot. Cabinetry, shelving, custom built cubby and a mud bench. The contract says work would start tentatively May 15th and finish on the 24th. I sent my husband there on his lunch. He pulled out it was $5,400. On May 23rd, Andy Stevenson signed a contract with Deutsch for a much larger project. I needed new floors. I wanted the interior of my house painted, cabinets hung up, bathroom renovation, things like that. How much was that 60%? 27000 Her work was supposed to be done tentatively on June 30th. I did my due diligence. He provided insurance. He provided, you know, LLC paperwork. Madeline Enox and Sarah Winchester trusted Deutsch to transform their new storefront into a chic salon in time for their opening week. And you all hired him, signed the contract early July. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When was everything supposed to be completed? July 31st was the deadline that was stated in the contract. It's well past all of their deadlines and none of the work is complete. It's dust everywhere, unfinished projects left and right. He wouldn't show me the cabinets, wouldn't show me the receipts. They tore out all my carpet. They tore off all the baseboards and door jams. They left the tack strips on the floor. All three have tried to get their money refunded from Deutsch with no success. They began posting about their experiences with him online and found others have gone through the same. Several police reports have been filed in Bayer, Guadalupe and Comal County and Palladini has filed with small claims court. However, she's having trouble serving Deutsch with the lawsuit. A quick online search showed Deutsch's LLC was dissolved because of tax issues in June 2022. It's not fair what he's doing to people and it's wrong and I like I'm determined to put an end to it. Deutsch provided this insurance paperwork. Stevenson said she called they confirmed the policy was canceled. In Texas, general contractors aren't required to have a license to operate. So how do you protect yourself? Finding a contractor that you can trust it can be kind of difficult. Tom Scalisi worked as a general contractor for years in New York. Now he writes articles about it. Scalisi has no connection to Deutsch or any of his clients. He says doing research on your own before handing over any money is key. And if you get insurance documents from the contractor, call the insurance right then and there. And then if something happens, you know that you're, you'll at least be having some financial backing through their insurance company. If the timeline for the job or the price you're being offered is too good to be true, it probably is. Enox thinks state policies need to be changed to ensure contractors can be held accountable if they don't do what they're hired to similar to California laws. There, if a contractor regularly breaks contracts, they can face fines, jail time, and may have their license revoked. In Texas, you can file a consumer complaint with the attorney general's office. If it's a contractor that just is, is fly by night and you can't track them down, it can be really hard to complain to anybody and get any real resolution. People are just going to scam you. I mean, some people, it's just in their nature, and I think that's Kyle Deutsch. I tried calling Deutsch to talk about the claims against him and we showed up at his last known address. When he finally did reach out to me, he said in a phone call his lawyer would be handling things moving forward. I asked for his lawyer's information. He promptly hung up and has stopped returning calls and texts. For KSAT Investigates, I'm Lee Waldman. If you want more tips on how to avoid being scammed by a contractor, we have those for you on our website, KSAT.com. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.